Hasta la vista, baby. Get away from her, you bitch! What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another movie review. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. After many delays, we finally have the release of Morbius. Directed by Daniel Espinosa, and it stars Jared Leto as Dr. Michael Morbius, you also have Matt Smith and Tyrese Gibson. Biochemist Michael Morbius tries to cure himself of a rare blood disease, but he inadvertently infects himself with a form of vampirism instead. Finally, Morbius is finally out in theaters. After, I don't know, seven or eight delays this movie has gotten, it's finally been released in theaters. And to be honest with you, I really was not excited for this movie. What Sony has been doing separate of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I have just not been a really big fan of. Like the two Venom movies have been very meh. And so seeing the trailers for Morbius didn't really catch my attention. I'm not as big of a fan of Jared Leto as an actor. And what were they doing behind the pieces of setting up different things in the Sony universe? And so seeing Morbius, what did I think of this movie? Was it good? Was it bad? Or is it right in the middle? I'm just going to not waste your time and say this movie all around was terrible. Morbius was exactly what I was expecting it to be. This movie's a mess. It is beyond terrible in terms of writing, action, character development. Altogether, this movie was what I was expecting it to be. The biggest positive for this movie, I would say, is the runtime. It doesn't drag anything out. It is less than two hours, an hour and 44 minutes. I think that is a good runtime for this movie with how much jam-packed information is condensed in this one movie. The hour and 44 minute runtime is serviceable. Out of the cast in this film, I would say Matt Smith would be my favorite. He didn't seem like a great character, but I thought he gave at least the most charismatic performance. He was also in Last Night in Soho last year. He had that charismatic side to him there is this interesting story with him and Michael Morbius as best friends and you see that journey together and I think he was probably the one I was interested in watching more yeah that's the positive so what is wrong with Morbius like what is the big issue with this film it just doesn't feel like it's needed like it feels very generic formulaic and predictable comic book movies are so overstuffed now these days there's nothing really much they could do in terms of originality like this movie plays by the paint by numbers story you've seen many times before jared leto is not that interesting as michael morbius it just i didn't really resonate with the character at all and whenever he does turn into that vampire i'm just not as interested in the character altogether. And the edit in this movie, oh my goodness. The editing looks like a PS2 video game by far. Like, it came out in 2001. Like, this is no excuse. This is 2022. Like, editing shouldn't look this bad in a comic book movie. And altogether, the story just is jumbled. For an hour and 44 minute runtime, you have to make the story interesting. And the story is not interesting at all with Michael Morbius and his illness. He wants to make the world better, make himself better, and find this cure. But there really isn't much to dive into with the story. And not just the story, there's also things they have to do with certain things to come in the future. And it just, all together, just nothing works in this film. And supposedly the director of this movie already spoiled the majority of the movie on Twitter. So if you haven't been on Twitter, don't look up on Twitter what is going on. And he answers questions and I'm like, really? Why would you even do that? And there is two end credit scenes in this movie. I was just like... Really? Did you really need to do that? The action is terrible. 
Like, you, you don't feel like it's earned at all. Like, you want earned action sequences. And in this movie, it just feels like a PS2 video game. With bland characters and characters just brawling and him just going out as Morbius. Like, it just did not like that. All I can say is I'm not really impressed with what Sony by themselves is doing all together with their little universe. Like, nothing is working. Like, come up with something different because Morbius clearly is not a good look in the right direction. Before I give you guys my final overall thoughts and grade on Morbius, if this is you guys' first time checking out the channel and you like this review, definitely hit that like button and consider clicking that subscribe button if you want weekly reviews and ranking videos on this channel. So Morbius is out. I feel like this movie is not needed. Like, this movie does nothing new in the comic book movie genre. I really did not like the direction, the character moments, the action sequences, and the editing altogether. Just an all-around mess. On my rating scale, Morbius gets an F. There you have it, guys. That was my thoughts and opinions on Morbius, my third F this year. Hopefully, it does not go down that path anymore. But let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions below. Did you love it, actually, and disagree with me? Did you think it was okay, or did you hate it? Let's talk about it in the comments. Thank you guys, as always, for watching this review. All my social media links are in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!